to GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Fear is that unwelcome house guest that shows up uninvited, whispering doubt and chilling you to the bone. That's because fear has torment and can stop you from walking, going places, or having meaningful interaction with others. Welcome to the GCK King Circle, where people get positioned to become princes, princesses, kings and queens. I am Favor Okali, and I'm not here alone. I am Emmanuel Kafo. On the GCK King Circle, we get empowered, nurtured, and equipped for royalty. I am certain that you would get maximum value for your time with us on today's episode. Leading the King's Circle today is our visionary covenant, highly revered life coach, and unstoppable defender of the faith, Dr. W.F. Kumi. Let's meet him. Dr. W.F. Kumui isn't your average preacher. This renowned mathematician received a calling to different kind of passion, a passion for spreading the faith. His powerful messages resonate with students and young adults, urging them towards excellence in both faith and academics, and equipping them with tools to become the future change makers. Dr. Kumui isn't just a preacher, he's an advocate for a generation on the rise. Favor, that profile was fantastic. I can't agree more. It was heavy. Before we digest today's chat from Dr. W.F. Kumui, let's take a moment to listen to this beautiful musical interlude. We'll be right back. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. And holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show. Welcome back. Forget capes and crowns and forget brute force. True conqueror, cultivate an unshakable mind. They have an unwavering focus that let them bounce back from setback and a relentless drive to learn and improve. In today's episode, Dr. Kumi explains simple steps to overcoming fear and how to develop the mindset of a conqueror. In life, we're about to go to school and the child is crying. Child, why are you crying? I don't want to go to school. I don't want to go to school. That child has not conquered the attachment he or she has for the mother. How can I live without my mother? How can I live without staying, without being connected inseparably with my mother? And that child that has not conquered that attachment to the mother will never go to school because the mother has what to do. And the mother is not going to follow her, follow him to school. But one day, after she had cried and cried and cried, then she conquered that attachment. And then will say, bye bye, mommy, I'm going to school. It is that conquering that releases anyone to go and make progress in life after we finish school. They tell us the workplace is terrible. The workplace, you know, they do this, they do this. You cannot survive. And although you have certificate, the fear of going to the public. It is like being thrown to the lion's den. And as long as you have that, you will not do anything and make progress and introduce a profession to you, a business to you. And uh, they say, do this until you conquer. The fear of being in that place, you're not going to make any progress. Now, they say that the in thing 
now in doing anything is computer science and then you say I, I barely went through school and I cannot learn anything new now you cannot teach the old dog any new trick and as you believe that and you do not conquer the fear of learning something new your life will just be on a plateau your life will be there what brings us up what leads us up is to discover <laughs> i conquered the fear of going to school when i was young i conquered the fear of learning mathematics or chemistry or physics when i was in secondary school i conquered the fear of taking that course because it was all strange to me i conquered the fear of traveling beyond my village so as to get a higher education now i've seen that everything i achieved in life I conquered and now the next step somebody there is going to the next step I said somebody there is going to the next step higher ground higher ground and greater achievement if we're going to get to that higher ground no matter how that thing is you cultivate the character of the conqueror how do I cultivate that? Do what you fear to do. do you look at that fear in the face. Don't deny the fear. I fear traveling. I fear getting on an aeroplane. I fear doing that new job. I fear looking at somebody eyeball to eyeball and asking what I want to ask. I fear making any plan to move forward. Do you? what you feared to do not only that do the hard things first do the hard things first in your life in your profession you have a lot of things to do some are simple some are moderate some are very tough some are almost impossible to do and you say for me other people might have done it it's undoable now if you're going to really cultivate the character of the conqueror you do the hard things first and you do it early in the morning when you wake up in the morning your brain is fresh life is fresh and your strength is fresh and it's at that early time that when you are fresh you tackle you attack that difficult thing first if you go through life like that you'll be developing and you'll be cultivating the character of the conqueror and then when you have to take a decision a decision for christ a decision to say I'm going to link up with Christ. It's going to be my savior. You've never done that. You'll be thinking, what will my friends say? What will my people say? You'll be thinking, does that mean I'm going to now say that Christ is the helper of my life to become a conqueror? You cultivate the character of the conqueror. You are afraid, do it anyhow. You think it's hard? do it anyway and you think that this is tough and i need a tough mind go ahead and while you're doing it the tough mind will come to you we're going to pray now and whatever problem you have the lord is by your side to take it away supernatural experience Father, in Jesus' name, you are the God of power. Come to the side of everyone and touch them with your miracle. Those who are sick, any sickness in the brain, in the mind, in the ear, in the eyes, any problem. Lord, I pray, touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray.
I believe this has blessed you. Now, you must make that resolve to overcome any fear that has restricted you in time past and face the future with courage. Remember, don't settle for less than what God has made you to be. Till we come your way again. No, no stopping, stopping, no waiting. waiting. Keep, Keep moving, moving towards, towards your goal. goal. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui will love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK King Circle.